Hi Aquarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your December 2017 monthly general reading. I just want to remind you that this may not resonate with you, okay? This is not a private reading for one person. This is for a general audience, all right? This is for the sign of Aquarius. It may not resonate at all. It may or it may not. Could be for only one person. All right, could be for 10 people, could be for 100, could be for 1,000. Could not be for you, all right? I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only gonna shuffle it for a moment. If you have uh, sent me a message for a private reading and you haven't sent me your questions, then that's what I'm waiting for, okay? Because I have to have that information to do the reading. And I've sent, I know that I've sent some emails out and people haven't responded. So that's why I'm mentioning it. Mentioning it. is for the sign of Aquarius for December 2017. I'm just going to make sure that this is viewable to the best ability here that I have available. That looks pretty good. The basis of your reading is the High Priestess. That tells me that your gut, your intuition is trying to tell you something and you may be doubting it. Okay, so if your intuition is trying to tell you something, give you an answer, do not doubt it. The answer is yes. The answer is within you. Don't doubt it. Okay, that's the basis of your reading. If you are questioning something and your, your intuition is giving you the answer, listen to it. Okay, I just have to, I mean, that's clear. All right. I feel like many of you are feeling like a victim, all right? You're feeling like a victim, or, you know, you could be a victim, but many of you are mostly feeling like a victim, feeling like you want to get out of this situation, but you can't, okay? You may be feeling unstable. You may be feeling insecure. There could be a lot of challenges going on right now, challenges with other people in your life. It feels like there are some intense energies and you are trying to move away from it, okay? I feel like some secret could be coming out on the table, but it's not really a secret because you already know what it is. It feels like you're growing weary. It's like, I can't do this anymore. It's causing you too much havoc in your life. It's bringing imbalance. You're feeling like things are completely out of whack. And I, it's for many of you, it's re, in regards to a relationship. It could be in something else in your life, but things feel like they are out of whack. And you could be trying to escape the reality of it. You may be feeling like, you know, I don't really want to believe this is happening, okay? I feel like, you know, where there was once a sense of togetherness, now that's not happening. You're probably feeling like you are more alone and you just want to move on. You maybe perhaps you want to you want things to go back to normal, but they're not. Perhaps you're you're reminiscing or you're thinking about the past how there used to be happiness and there used to be love and it used to be fun, but it's not there anymore. And it's sad. It's sad that it's not there. But I feel like many of you are moving away from that. You put yourself in the driver's seat. You're mastering your emotions. And you're getting the hell out. Okay? It feels like, you know, you're not going to resist this anymore. You have been resisting the change. You've been resisting the conflict. You've just been pretending that this really isn't happening. You've just been in a, a feeling of, you know, denial. Okay, it's like you've been in denial, 
Um, but the thing is, is that you're at a point now where you're not going to live there anymore. It's like, you know, I can't deny this anymore. It's the truth. It's the truth. I have to take the practical approach. I have to, I have to take the lead. I have to do the right thing for me. Some of you could be moving physically. All right. So I don't know who this is for, but some of you could be contemplating a move physically, you know, moving house, moving, um, or you could be, um, orchestrating some travel this month. All right. I think many of you have been waiting for some communication from somebody, some positive communication, but you haven't received it. Okay. You've been waiting a long time. Okay. But you're at a point where you can't wait anymore. All right. I feel like you really need to pay attention to your dreams at this time and your intuition because they're trying to tell you something. Really seriously pay attention to them. I feel like you have, there's been some jealousy and whether that's you or the other person, there's some jealousy at play. Perhaps there's even been a little bit of mental abuse in your life that you've been trying to ignore. I'm not sure. But I feel like there's been some ignoring of a situation where, and you know the truth. Please listen to your inner guide. I can tell that you know what to do, but you're, you're just in a state of denial. Okay? But many of you are starting to see the light. There's a little bit of light here. Look at the darkness in these cards. Okay. There's a lot of darkness. There's a little bit of light. So there is. There's a little bit of light. There is, but not much. Okay. You're starting to see the light. The light is being shown to you through your intuition. So please do not deny it. Okay. I see that many of you need to start something new. Okay, you need to build a new foundation elsewhere. Okay, the foundation that you were building that isn't working out isn't stable. Okay, it's not. I feel like there's been some very intense, you know, harsh energies around you and you can't do it anymore. I feel like you just can't do it anymore. You, you, it doesn't um, honor the love that you have to give. I feel like you have a lot of love to give and you can't give it to whoever this is because they won't accept it. They're not being true to you. All right. I'm just shuffling the next deck as I'm looking at these. Um, I know many of you have been resisting this change for a while. You've been resisting it because, you know, your fear of change. Change is scary. And I see the fear. I see the fear of change here. What if I make a mistake? What if my intuition is lying to me? It's not. Okay? It's not. There hasn't been equal give and take within your life. Just saying. Something is over. This is the death card, by the way. Something needs to end. Now, this is a physical death. When the death card comes up, it means something needs to end. You can't do it anymore. This door needs to close. And we've had this conversation before. This is the Nine of Wands. You've put in all that you can put into it. There's nothing left to give. You have given all that you can give. You have given your pure, true love. Somebody is not accepting it. These are both death cards, by the way. This is the actual death card. This is the Ten of Swords. And if that isn't a death card, I don't know what is. Okay? It is. It's over. The situation that you are in is over. Listen to the messages you are getting. Not from me. From yourself. 
You know it's over, but you're denying it because you're scared of change. It's time to free yourself from this situation, okay? It absolutely is time to free yourself from this situation. It's the same card. Where is it? The, right here. Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords, Eight of Swords. Different deck, okay? There's no need to stay stuck in this situation. Look at the, the arms aren't tied, okay? He's blindfolded and he's acting like he's stuck in this situation that he's not really stuck in. He can leave at any time. He can free himself from this situation whenever he is ready to accept the change. And you have the card twice. I don't do reversals because I don't need to. But this card is reversed. I should just leave it. But I'm not going to because I don't, I don't need to do them. Anyway, this is telling me you're not getting the love that you desire. You're not getting the love that you desire. You're not, your wishes are not being fulfilled. Your true heart's desire is not being fulfilled for many of you. Like I said, this will not resonate with everybody. It won't. This is not a private personal reading. You've, you've, you've watered it. You've nurtured it. You've nurtured it. You've given it your time. You've given it your energy. You've done all that you can do to make it grow. I feel like there's a door that needs to be closed but this is also a very egotistical card as well and I feel like your pride is hurt your pride is hurt I think for many of you you're worried about what somebody else is going to think what are they going to say if you start your life over what are they going to, going to say how are you going to be supported you're looking for the ultimate connection whether this is in love or work or whatever, I can see that you're looking for that ultimate connection. You've come to a point that you want that, but you're so scared that you will never get it. And you are afraid of change. And you are certainly not getting it now. You are not feeling fulfilled at this time. You've put in all that you can put in, seriously. And the door is ready to close. And your intuition says that you, you know what you need to do. But your fear is ruling you. You can't free yourself. You're feeling like a victim. Like you can't do it. And part of it is pride. Part of it is, is feeling like I, I, if I do this, what if I end up, you know, making the wrong decisions? You have this big fear. What, what's everybody else going to say? Am I a fool? But deep down you have these desires for true love. Anyway, it's a time of rebirth. It's a time for you to let something end so something more beautiful can begin. It's a time for you to let it happen. Follow your inner guide. Listen to your inner guide. For many of you, a secret has come out or it will come out that may urge you to let something end. I see that there is some confusion. There's some confusion. You just don't know what to do. And it's stemmed from fear. Your confusion is stemmed from fear. 
but your heart knows what it wants. Your intuition knows. But the fear, well, what's it going to be? That's the question. What's it going to be? Heart versus fear. Heart versus fear. This is a daily angel guidance card. I think this is it. Ooh. Of course, I say that with every single one, in case you guys have watched my other ones. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, by the way. Nobody else should have this video in their channel. Opportunity to forgive. This situation brings you the opportunity to heal, grow, and release negative patterns. Hold the intention of seeing the other person's inner divine light and goodness. We will help you release unforgiving thoughts, feelings, and energies and lift you to a higher place of peace and compassion. All right? There is an opportunity to forgive. Perhaps you've learned of something that is very disheartening and it causes you to end something, okay? The fact of the matter is, is that you must forgive to heal even if it kills you internally. Once you forgive, you really, really heal. Forgive yourself and the other person. Forgive them for being the way they are. They obviously have their own issues, okay? Remember that. Know your worth as well. For some reason I felt the need to tell you that. Know your worth. Now I need to remind you that time is fluid. This is being recorded in November. It could resonate in November. It is intended for December. So if you're watching this in November, don't don't just, you know, click the thumbs down if it hasn't happened yet. Okay? And remember this may not be for you. It's not a private reading. Some of you think it is because it resonates so much. Okay? And that's fine. But I see that many of you are going through something very big. And your intuition knows what you need to do. But the fear is overriding your intuition. So what was I saying? Fear versus love. What's it going to be? Talk to you later, Aquarius.